What's going on guys, ZTA Prime back here again. So on my channel, I do a lot of reviews on Android compatible controllers, and I kind of feel like the iOS crowd has been left out, including myself, because my everyday driver is an iPhone, and I've been looking for a decent controller so I could play my favorite games like Call of Duty Mobile and PUBG on the go. And what I've come across is a really interesting option called the GameSir G6S. Now this is what's known as a touch troller. Half controller, half touch, and it actually works out really well on these iOS devices. Now this will connect to your Android device, but unfortunately a lot of the stuff's not working with it. Some of the buttons work for back and controlling characters, but this is strictly designed and marketed for iOS. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. It does have dual vibration motors, one analog stick, 10 customizable buttons using their G Crux app that you can download on the iOS store for free, rechargeable lithium battery, and they claim up to 70 hours of working time. And I'm not exactly sure how much I trust this claim. It's using Bluetooth 5.0 for ultra low latency, and it works really well with Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG, and other games. So inside of the box, you're obviously gonna receive the controller itself, a micro USB charging cable, and a user manual. This is what's known as a telescopic controller, so it is kind of stretchy. You're going to put your phone in here, and it'll be secure with the non-slip pads. So I was really skeptical going into one of these touch trollers. Now, I'm personally a real gamepad kind of guy. I hate touch controls, but this actually works out really well with these mobile games on your iPhone. In order for this controller to work correctly, it does require an app, the G-Crux app. It's made by GameSir. You can get it from the iOS store for free and it allows you to fully customize this controller. Plus, they have preset profiles that you can download for your favorite games. The controller does have a cutout to allow you to charge your device while you're playing. It also has some pre-drilled holes where your speakers would be, so it's not distorting the sound at all. And it works with most cases. This is the iPhone 11 Max Pro, so this thing should fit any iPhone that's on the market right now. Setup on the G6S is really easy, and I'm gonna walk you through it real quick, and then we'll get into a little bit of gameplay so you can see how this thing really performs. First things first, I recommend going over to the iOS store and downloading the GameSir G Crux app. This is going to allow us to download pre-made profiles and configure the controller itself. Once we have that downloaded, we need to head over to our settings and Bluetooth on our iOS device. We're just going to turn it on, grab the controller, hold the power button and Y for about 4 seconds until the LED starts to rapidly flash. Now we're in pairing mode with the controller itself. Sometimes you may need to refresh your Bluetooth connection, so I'll just turn it off and right back on, and it'll show right up. And there we have it. We're just going to connect, pair, and our controller is now connected to our phone. All we need to do is launch the G Crux app to download some profiles. When you start this up, you'll have to hit connect. Got it. And now we can go over to Profiles. So from here, you can download pre-made profiles for PUBG, Mobile Legends, Fortnite, Free Fire, Call of Duty Mobile. There's a ton in here, but you need to make sure you're downloading the correct one for the correct phone you have. I have the iPhone 11 Pro Max, and as you can see, these are the ones I'm downloading. And it is fully customizable, so if you don't like that setup, you can always load it and customize it to your liking. You can also create your own profile if you'd like to. But I've actually been pretty happy with the pre-made profiles. There have been a few things I changed in Free Fire, but other than that, for the Call of Duty mobile profile, I just left it like it is and it works fine. All that's really left to do is start playing your favorite game. I'm going to grab my phone. I'll place it right in the controller itself. Sits in there perfectly. And I'll start up Call of Duty mobile. So as you can see, the joystick on the left-hand side is controlling my movement. I also have the L1 button set up for jump, and my right trigger is going to allow me to shoot. I personally really love playing like this, and it does give me more screen space because I'm not blocking the left hand side here. Now you will still have to use your thumb on the right hand side to move your character, but you could switch this around if that's how you really wanted to play. But I find this pre-made profile works great with Call of Duty Mobile. Changing back! 
and the same goes for PUBG or any of the other Battle Royale games on the iOS store. This controller works really well, and I personally really like using it over Dual Touch. And for PUBG here, I'm using one of the pre-made profiles that I downloaded from the app. Works great. <laughs> So overall, I've been really enjoying using the GameSir G6S. I never thought I would enjoy using a touch troller. That's one of the reasons I've kind of stayed away from them. But I really like this thing. Now it might change down the road when Call of Duty Mobile adds official controller support because after all, we can use a PS4 or an Xbox One controller with the iPhone now. But until then, this is my definite go-to. And right out of the box, it does support a wide variety of games, but you can always set up your own custom profile for pretty much any game. Now, when searching for this controller online, you're going to see the GameSir G6 and the G6S. I believe the only difference between the two is the dual vibration motors, and you can get the G6 right now on Amazon for $34.99, which is a great deal, and it works just as well as the G6S. So that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. I will leave a few links in the description. You can learn more on GameSir's website. And if you want to pick one of these up, I'll also have Amazon links down below. If you have any questions or you want to see anything else tested with the GameSir G6S, just let me know in the comments below. But like always, thanks for watching.